All right. Hold on one second. I'll make sure that we have uh, we have uh, lift off. All right. Hey guys, welcome to the 2023 Association uh, Expo showroom floor. Behind me is the brand new redesigned 2024 Prevo H345. And in just about three minutes, they're gonna be pulling off this curtain, this shroud, and we're gonna see what the redesigned Prevo looks like. Now, if you haven't checked out my previous videos about Prevo, um, there's a lot about the H series and how it evolved. So go check out that. It's evolved all the way through the years up until today. We have updated the body style for over a decade because why make something that works? They've redesigned it. See what it looks like. So um, I have Lil Mill saying, "What's up? What's up, Lil Mill?" JD Car and Bus. Hi, hello, JD Car. Appreciate you. Two minutes ago, guys. Two minutes. I'm gonna start early. In case it was technical difficulties so let's see I got people standing there laughing at me so I'm talking passionately to a camera about a bus I have, I'm <laughs> also Kiwan was supposed to be here from bus drivers life he has another YouTube channel go check him out I bought his hoodie on his merch store but he had the chance so Kiwan if you're watching here's uh, Representing you, my friend. I hope your time can't wait to be covered. Yes, also, good comment, Walter Wells. I will have a full on vlog of the expo later on, so it's not just going to be the live. The live is just to show this brand new Prevo. So, all you Prevo fans, um, we're going to see what tomorrow. Uh, uh, I'll be able to ask all the questions that you guys have. Wow, lots of questions. Roger, quick hi. King right now, Roger. Okay, sounds good. Don't get in trouble. Uh, Tamika Haywood, I'm driving the bus tonight. Tamika, be safe. Thanks for tuning in. Kerwin May says hello from Memphis. Hi, Kerwin. Adam Fisher, thanks for bringing us along tonight. I'm glad to have you here with me. Fisher Bridge Productions, hello, James from Hardwick, Vermont. What's up, Fisher? How's the weather in Hartwick? Steve G, G says, seems choppy here in Wisconsin, in and out. I'm sorry, uh, I, it might be the Wi-Fi. Um, let me know, uh, I'm, I'm watching you guys on my screen, so uh, I hope that it's uh, not too unbearable. I don't know how to fix it. Hopefully, hopefully uh, it won't be too bad. Hi, James. Thanks for allowing us, allow us to sneak. No problem, Adrian. Glad to have you with me. It's five. So making a switch on the other, side, but I want to the front. So oh, here's the game roll. We'll go check this. Oh, no, no, you're good. We'll stay here because uh, they're doing the. Actually, follow me. Let's go this way. Uh, let's film the film the screen. Film the screen. Talk about building up the excitement. So good evening, everyone. Wow, we have a great turnout. So glad to be here. So my name is uh, Francois Tremblay. I'm the president of Prevo and Volvo uh, Bus for North America, and I'm proud to stand here with you tonight to announce the rebirth of the icon of our industry, the H345. So thank you for joining us for this uh, special moment. You know, we have worked hard for many years to break this, uh, to bring this great new coach to reality. But the most important thing is that we've listened. We've listened to your needs of improving the total cost of operation, 
product serviceability, and passenger experience. Because we know improving your total cost of operation, product serviceability, is actually the way to go. And by challenging us, you have helped Prevo to develop better products, become a better company, and a better partner. And this, for along for the last 99 years, Prevo has certainly came a long way since 1924, when Eugene Prevo, a carpenter in a small village outside of Quebec City, built its first coach to help his community travel to work in the city, sometimes in terrible weather conditions. For some of you who have visited us during the, uh, the, the winter months, I'm sure you know what we're talking about, right? But this was also the birth of our commitment to quality, reliability, and exciting vehicles. All a direct reflection of Eugene Prevost's passion. A passion that we have worked really hard to actually keep alive for the last 100 years. So next year, actually, we'll celebrate our 100th year's anniversary. And be aware and follow us on the social media platforms because a lot of good news will be announced and a lot of activities are coming to, to celebrate this great milestone. But we have decided actually to start celebrating a bit earlier by making our new H345 that you will see tonight a centennial edition, which means this will be a model year 24. But you know what? Great product would be nothing service support by a dedicated team who are always going above and beyond to keep your coaches on the road and this is as you know, this is part of our presentation to be supported when it comes to the maintenance of your coach so this Happy to announce for March there. So you don't have mechanics, you know you can at one of our team service locations across North America or with our many service vans. We can offer maintenance program really customized to meet your specific needs. And finally, you know that you have always 190 old truck dealers to support you guys. about parts now, you know, because this is, you know that the last time we've updated our e-commerce platform where you order our parts online was in 1982. That was the year actually that Michael Jackson released its first the year that uh, Justin Timberlake and uh, Britney Spears were born so I think we can all agree that this was a long time ago so it was long overdue so we're pleased to announce that later this year we will introduce a new parts online parts ordering platform which will be basically like British really on Amazon you'll be easily finding all the parts you need either by looking at part numbers description and you will find everything you're looking for. And when you find your parts, we'll have its picture, description, technical specs, and price. The platform will even recommend to you other parts that you have bought with this one in the past. Other customers would have bought parts to ensure that you don't forget anything. And finally, you will have different options. We'll have offered different shipping options at different costs. And you'll also be able to find your credit balance online and pick everything directly on the platform. It will be that simple. And remember, for two, we'll ship the same thing. So for us, you know, it's all about uptime performance. Okay, so now let's dive into what we're all here for. The new H345. Passenger, driver experience, total cost of ownership. Serviceability are the key words we're associating with this new age. In addition to being much more fuel efficient and easier to service, we had also given the mandate to our engineers to improve the driver and passenger experience. The goal was really to redesign our age inside out to become once again the flagship of the industry. And by the way, we have a couple of our team members, we have many of our engineers here, uh, so make sure uh, to tell them the good job they've done because I gotta tell you, 
uh, hopefully you'll be as impressed as I uh, as I am, you know, when I saw the first iteration of this product. So, engineers, and all the Driver passengers What's it on top of owning a great uh, owning a coach? A great coach, your couch actually a good thing also. So now we're talking with the type of design, it's all one of the first improved mix. Many things we thought to airflow on the And we're age that ever up to 12% better fuel consumption. Can I repeat it? Up to 12% better fuel consumption. And I think we all agree with the price of fuel these days, this will be savings in your pocket. And interestingly enough, this redesign also brought some side benefits. For instance, it helped to us to significantly reduce front fascia and uh, mirror soiling in harsh weather conditions, as well as reducing the fuel The front service door was greatly, greatly enlarged. The, junk, the front uh, junction box and all the electrical components. We even took the, the opportunity to integrate the driver with the door to ensure easy access to the mechanism of the, of the window for maintenance. We also now have a three parts front bumper, allowing you to replace the damaged part instead of the whole bumper. We've also incorporated a new front trunk that you open to give you access to the wiper motors, uh, ar the irons, the defroster module, you know, all these parts easily accessible. Changing a defrost filter will never be so easy. No more maintenance from the inside of the vehicle requiring you to remove some dash parts and poten potentially damaging them, right? Damaging, so great improvement there. Third benefit is we also redesigned the headlamp. We have a new, actually, exclusive all-in-one all headlamp technology no bringing light, light output, the equivalent of Xenon, but lasting 20 times longer, which means pretty much no need to change any lines for the lifetime of the coach. Another good benefit. All these are just some of the few examples of how operators will be able to reduce their overall cost of operation. By the way, guys, this is the president of Prevo. What's in it for them? Well, many things. First, we have significant... Mr. Francois. The economic and the intuitiveness. Francois Tremblay. You know, on top of looking amazing, we've incorporated many features such as a new digital touchscreen display that incorporates functions like commercial navigation system, backup, By the way, this is the camera, just to name a few. We have also a new digital and the suspense is killing me, guys. The suspense is killing me. I just want to rip down that cover right now. Functionalities like TPMS in there, uh, the luggage bay indicators. So now it's part of the the cluster, and it even tells you when there's a door open, which one it is on the go. So no more running around the coast to find which door is open. Second, we have a new ergonomic steering wheel with more adjustment, position, and integrated intuitive control. So that connect directly to the multiplex system. So no more gateway required. Everything you can do from the, uh, the steering wheel. We have also a new vehicle sound selector that basically allows you to play back audio and video files directly from a USB stick or, a, or an SD card in the passenger section. So it's very useful when you want to do for departure uh, safety videos. And As we said, we need to redesign our system and improve the defroster's performance. So I'm happy to report that our, with our new design, first of all, we're able to reduce the, the noise of the HVAC system, the defroster, by 8, 8 decibel. But more importantly, the new defroster will be 37% faster when defrosting the front windshield. And I know that was an area you guys have mentioned that we could have done a little bit better. 
So now you have it. And if it wasn't enough, our front end line redesign let you operate low and high beam simultaneously in the mo and is the most powerful LED headlamp of the industry. So basically, this will ensure that the drivers have really great visibility at night. Talking about improved visibility for the drivers, we've also <laughs> keep it gangster, James. Pull that cover off. I got your back. <laughs> you gonna bail me out? So this will make Thanks, Dondi. When they're driving in the cities, for those that angle in front of the coach, another good benefit for drivers to be aware of the environment. I think with all this, your drivers were lucky that they found the most attractive place to work in the industry. So now, so on the top of a credible, you know, incredible curve field, it starts when they enter the coach. They can now enjoy a wider entrance followed by a new stairway with the curvature design that provides a much more natural flow when you enter the vehicle. The stairs also have a fully integrated lighting design as part of the stairs. When they reach the top of the stairs, they will be able to appreciate the openness and brightness feeling of the cabin. This openness is actually driven by a wider aisle ceiling that is now four inches wider because of our newly redesigned parcel racks. With this new design, a passenger now sitting in the aisle seat can now stand up exactly where he stands in front of his seat and his, his head would not even touch the parcel rack. But we have did all this, we haven't sacrificed storage, so this, these new racks will offer the same storage space volume as the previous generation. Now when it comes to the brightness of the cabin, it mainly comes from the three different areas. First, our new standard aerospace inspired in not only looks great, it also it's quite easy to clean. Second, we have a new we have new larger and all standard now all side windows will be standard on the closed by 15 which means less visual obstruction when you're sitting in the coach. Also our new signature trapezoidal front side window, which is actually 54% larger than the previous one, giving much greater visibility you'll see in the first couple of rows. So it really opens the front of the coach. Now for the first, the third brightness elements, we have new front-to-end LED and direct light system, which are located on the wall, under the parcel right and actually on the, uh, on, the, on the ceiling. So, and with this new lighting system, you have, lighting system, you have different intensi intensities and colors you can apply. It truly creates uh, an immersive experience for the, uh, for the passengers. We've also redesigned the service set with the new ambience lighting, lighting, and it makes it also easy to readjust the spacing should you want to change your seat spacing. Another nice little benefit. And finally, to complement the cabin experience, don't forget about our recently introduced patented Revo Cloud Seats with their modern design, but most importantly, he, with their improved... Did you guys hear what he called it? Pre Prevo. That's the real correct way to pronounce it. Pre Prevo. Not Prevo, Prevo, but it's Prevo. So really, you can call it whatever you want. Prevo, Prevo, Prevo. But now, enough talk. I think we all agree that it's time for you to experience it for yourself. And I see all the great features I just talked about on this new age. Here we go, guys. Let's go to the front. Your drivers and of course, helping you to be able to have a Here we go, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Maybe I gotta give it a tug. Oh, there's a drum roll. Here we go, guys. Let's go to the front. Maybe I gotta give it a tug. Oh, there's a drum roll.
the new, the next, the future. It's here. Oh, look, there's, there's, there's smoke coming down from the bottom. Oh, uh, yeah. the longest intro to a Cotriville ever. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2024 Prevo H345. It almost looks like an MCI at the front. I don't know, are you guys getting that vibe? <laughs> Thanks, Dennis. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2024 Prevo Thank you. H345. Okay, let's go around the coach and see uh, what it looks like. Check out the new driver window. Oh, look at that mirror. You guys, uh, you guys seeing that mirror over there? That's a camera mirror, and then there's a real mirror. Yeah, the luggage bay doors remain the same. They don't look like they've changed much. Not, notice, not noticing much, so the one thing I'm noticing that's different on the side is the front passenger window. Instead of a sharp drop down, look how it's angled. It's angled with, uh, I, I like that, it's more sleek. Again, it, there's a very much MCI J element to the whole slant of this, right? I mean, you guys seeing that? That just reminds me of MCI. Hey, how are you? It's Shamrock Sean, guys. You're live on Facebook. Uh, you're live on YouTube. <laughs> what do you think? I love it. Pretty sleek, huh? I think it answers a lot of uh, a lot of questions. Are you picking up what I'm picking up? It's got a bit of a J feel, MCI feel from the front. I hate to. Ins I'm not. I don't know if that's an insult or what. I like I, uh, it. I did not say that on the road. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go look at the. Let's go look at the back. 
Yeah. Hello. Yeah, make sure you get this right here. That's the oh, aerodynamics. Oh, look at right look, look at the little uh, notch that's taken out. That's aerodynamics. <laughs> and it kind of sticks out like a fin. Let me move back a little. I don't want to. You guys see the fin? The back is completely redesigned. There's that entire arch that kind of sticks out. It's like a it's like a fin. How you doing? Oops, I'm sorry. This is Dennis. He's been my cameraman all afternoon. Thank you, Dennis. Appreciate you manning the cameras. Back to the uh, passenger side. You can't see the fin? I'm sorry. Let's go look at the fin again. You guys see how it just sticks out back here a little bit? All the way from that notch. Kind of sticks out. You guys will see. Oh, this guy's opening the engine hatch. All right. Oh. Well, that's pretty much. I don't see. I don't see much difference in the engine. It's pretty much uh, the same as. Okay, guys, I really want to show you the inside of this thing, but if you guys can see, there is a madhouse up there with people uh, trying to get in. So I'm going to let that die down a little bit. I know this, this live stream has gone a little long. I hope you guys uh, aren't getting tired of it. Um, but this will also be on my upcoming vlog of my visit to UMA. But yeah, I really want to show you guys the inside. I want to see the inside for myself. Is it good enough for you? It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at all the people asking questions and commenting. Okay, <laughs> You're live right now. Okay. This is the president of Prevo, Francois Tremblay, live on Motor Coach World. Thank you so much. What a beautiful machine. I haven't been a lot of people asking, did you redesign the cup holder? <laughs> I'm getting a lot of laughs, guys. From the did you guys read some news? <laughs> Back live on YouTube. I side yet, but the are. Hi, Kenny. Then we get. To Bus here. Play, guys. This is Dave Huang, coach line. I'm trying to get you guys on board, but there's this huge line, so I don't know how the people that's gotten on board is going to get off. I don't know how they're going to get off because we're kind of creating a traffic jam here. Right off the bat, I like that the door got 
padded here. I like this is kind of new. Okay, here we go. Hello, how are you? Oh, this is sharp. This is sharp. This did away with the glove. Is that the glove box? Is that the glove box? You did away with the the big square glove box. Okay. <laughs> I think this. Oh, here's a small glove box. Here's the dash. Can I sit on here? Are we? Yeah, am, am I in line? Are you guys in line to sit no, here? No. Are you sure? I don't want to cut. Okay. All right. I'll sit. Asian drivers have a really bad reputation, so don't don't be afraid that I'm sitting here. <laughs> okay, guys. I am sitting on the dash. How's that? Of the U. No, it's all good. Here's the dash. There's no personal bubbles here tonight. Let's see. Okay. Here, the driver's window is kind of redesigned. I like the electronic mirror. The buttons have changed to uh, different. Uh, Oh, you're live right now. Oh. We're live. Hi, James Henry. Canada uh, Candy's Coachworks, Candy's Coach Works, Grainsville, Florida. Yeah, nice yeah. to meet you, sir. You're live on YouTube. Yes, Anything for the uh, YouTube crowd? Hey, man, this bus is beautiful. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> uh, I don't want to hog the driver's seat too long, so if anyone wants in, just let me know. I'll, I'll get off. But... I'll check it out. Okay, all right. <laughs> I won't be shy, man. Oops. We got too many uh, cords. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right, I'll let you buy and uh, I'll. Oops, I'm sorry. As you guys can see, it is so packed in here. I hope nobody minds being on YouTube right now. <laughs> if you want, give your company a shout out. I got uh, a thousand people watching. Way from Dallas, Texas. Your bus. Tornado, yeah, you guys are so sharp. I like the yellow. Yeah. I like the yellow. I think it'd look on this one. Yeah, yeah I think it'd look great. How you doing? <laughs> you on YouTube? What's your bus, bus company name? That's from Brooklyn. All right. Okay, let's move further back. I like the seats. The seats have been redesigned. Each seat has a nice Prevo logo. Um, it's metal. It's metal. On the lights for you. This is metal. Hey, good to see you, buddy. Hey, what's your video? Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. What's your name? John, John from uh, Tornado Bus Company. Tornado Bus Company, John. I like the yellow. Yeah, sharp, yeah. Very sharp, very sharp. Right, right, right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. How you doing? Good, good. Okay, guys. So obviously, there's a lot of people on board right now. A lot of curious uh, folks want to check out the new Prevo. Once there's enough room, we're going to check out the restroom. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw the cup holders. I think they did redesign the cup holders. Many of you complain about the bad cup holders on the Prevo. Um, I think you'll have better luck now with this new design. Uh, yes, there's a lot of nice driver visibility. Uh, Kerwin May, Tim Phillips, new cup holder on the left side. That's right. Uh, John, Chris John says, beautiful. I've got to go, James. All right, JD Carr, thank you. Thank you for coming along. Walter Wells, we have to toss in our new Prevo coaches. They're, they're, we have those in our new Prevo coaches. All right, so we're going to wait. Line's almost gone. We're going to move back and check out the bathroom. All right. Thank you, William. William's making some room for me. <laughs> Will Scully, and where are you from? Scully, LLC. Lighting is nice. 
<laughs> Someone says too pretty for Greyhound. <laughs> Tim Phillips says it's too pretty for Greyhound. <laughs> Give, tell them give about two months. It'll give give right. about two months? It'll, it'll fit right in. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Waiting to get back there. Beautiful seats. Okay, thank you, thank you. Still waiting for the crowd to clear. <laughs> Single set of wipers, yeah. We have about, I don't know, 20. Okay, here we go. Thank you so much. Absolutely, keep up the good work. Man. Thank you, I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Take care of my people. Thank you. The luggage bays are, are redesigned, I think. Um, no, I don't know. I think. <laughs> There's like a little fan thing up here, maybe? Okay, restroom is the regular Prevo restroom. Nothing much has changed in the restroom. Hey guys. Restroom is pretty, pretty much the same. But looking from the back to the front, oh, they got the, there's the, there's the clock on the very front. The digital clock has moved to the front of the bus. I like it. That's a nice place for it. Here, I'll let you buy. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm hanging out. Here's the owner of the bus. This is the owner, Dave Huang. He owns this bus, so I'm trying not to dirty it up. Here, Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's a marquee. Okay, that's a marquee. And there's the clock. Lots of. Uh, Gadgets up here where they usually are. But oops, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, Ebro, come on by. But if you look down there, the cup holder. There's no more cup holder on the right side, right? If you push on that, that is that. That's just a drawer, right? I think there's a lock. Okay, there you go. There's the. Oh, and in the drawer, there's a power outlet. There's a three millimeter mic and USB. Wow, two USBs and a three millimeter mic. That is cool, but the cup holder is no longer there. The cup holder is now there, and it's much deeper. It's no longer a weird, odd shape. I think that'll fit a lot of different uh, thermoses and stuff. And then there's a big box back here for drivers to put stuff in. You can lift the glare shield up on the dash. It looks like it's its own separate panel. I'll uh, make room for people here. Check out the glare shield. It looks like you can lift this up and uh, do something with it. I don't know what the function of that is, but, uh, oh, there's a lock. I think there's a lock right there you have to. So I'll let you buy and I'm gonna get out and I'll, I'll make room for, for more people. How's that? All right, how you doing, sir? Good, thank you. Beautiful bus, Good beautiful bus. Good to see you again here. You, you too, yeah, thank, your videos. thank you so much. Thank What's you your name, Mike? Mike Fitzgerald. Mike Fitzgerald, you're live on YouTube from Fitzgerald Brothers Bus Co. from Geneva, New York. Yeah, I love nice videos. to meet you, Keep Mike. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. Okay, guys. This is the brand new H345. It's 2024 model, so we got another year or so before uh, the height. I believe is still 124. Uh, let's ask the president, uh, Francois, still right next to us. Is this Prevo still 12 feet four inches? Yeah, the, the height is the, the height, same. Height is the yeah, same. Yes, height is the same. So to answer your question, the height is the same, uh, Dondi. 12 feet 4 uh, is the, still the height of the Prevo. Can you show the stairwell? Yeah, I'll show the stairwell again. The traffic has cleared. Uh, here's the stairwell. It, the stairwell hasn't changed much, but the side of the coach has. The side of the stairwell. The door definitely changed. I love that it's not just a bulky square uh, plastic mold. There's actually a nice pad design on the stairwell, on the door. Rectangular section on the dash could be collision warning light, could be, yeah, I'm not going, I have been up there. <laughs> okay, so here's the stairwell. Everything's pretty much. The stairwell is designed as far as the left and right side.
And luggage bays. Okay, we'll take a look at the luggage bays. This one's locked. They're all locked. Okay, so we can't we can't see the luggage bays. Any chance we can unlock them? I got I got about a thousand people right now live on YouTube that wants to see the luggage bays. I, we're live on YouTube right now. I have about hundreds of people that want to see the luggage bays luggage of the new bay, people. Yeah. You think it made that happen? Yeah. I think somebody hit the switch. Yeah, somebody hit the switch. Okay. Maybe <laughs> Maybe yell up there. Have someone hit the unlock. Oh, you got keys. Actually, I think I got it. We talked to the right person here. All right, thank you so much. What was your name? My name is Tommy. Tommy and Nola, thank you, Tommy. Here's the luggage bay, it's very clean. Pretty much the same as the original Prevo luggage bay. It doesn't have the what? That's right, the bar, the cross. You guys noticed how long point that One iron from Mapleway Coach LLC Columbus. Your sleeper, sleeper coaches. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. You're live on YouTube. So, hello to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the luggage space the that everybody loves is the huge amount of luggage space. And it, it, it's uh, retained that. Handicap, yep, it is handicap equipped. Open or closed bays are an option. I don't know. Um, we have both at Village. Hi, how are you doing, folks? Okay, guys. Um, ADA boarding. ADA is right here. This is the ADA door right here, uh, and the ADA, that's pretty much the same um, as it was before. So, haven't seen the 2003 of my company, folks. Uh, it's been a long stream. But I'm going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the brand new 2024 Prevo H345. Stay tuned for my entire video and experience here at UMA 2023 uh, in Orlando, Florida. There's a lot, lot of stuff to see. This is... And what's that? Oh, I have to move. I'm standing in someone's shot. I'm going to move. So we'll call it here, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys being here. And as always, if you're watching this, you are part of the motor...